Hey everyone, it's Suzanne. I'm back with another video and this video is a little haul that I picked up from Moonshine Manny. Moonshine Manny was doing a 20% off with the purchase of three or more polishes. I can't remember why she was doing that. If she was doing it for customer appreciation or something was going on and she was doing an end of the year sale or I don't, I don't remember why the 20%. She always does 10% on three or more. So, um, I had, she had some creams that I had been eyeballing for a while. She does these, she calls it Project Dupe It, where she dupes, um, they're usually mainstream. I guess it's not necessarily creams. It's any type of polish, but they're like usually mainstream polishes that people either, um, really really loved or that are hard to find so she kind of does like her own spin on them and I had purchased a cream from Moonshine Manny a while back and I really really enjoyed um the formula of it so I kind of had been eyeballing these creams for a while and then she had she had when she put out a message on her Facebook page about the 20 percent she said I have some over pours from my latest PPU and I'm not sure if they were both PPU or HHC the one I wanted was from PPU and it was one that was on my wish list and it was so hard to kick it off my wish list I really really wanted it but I couldn't buy everything so it got vetoed off and when you go on and order her mysteries you can um, request you're not guaranteed you get the polish you request but you can request a polish so I requested it and I got it so I'm so excited about that so let's just get right into it and before we start let me tell you what's on my nails I used to do this um when I first started doing YouTube I used to tell you what was on my nails but then I have just forgotten to continue that so what's on my nails is a polish from Rogue Lacquer and this is called Halloween Screams and it came out in their Frightfully fun imagineering collection and it's just a really pretty i don't know sometimes it looks orange and sometimes it looks pink but it has these like glowy pink flakes in it and black fake flakies it's really pretty polished but i'm gonna try to remember to start getting back in there to tell you what i wear i usually film several videos in one day so it will be the same polish but i'm still going to try to get into telling you so i picked up four polishes in um this haul i picked up three from the project dupe it and then um, the one PPU that I was eyeballing. So this first one is What's Love Got to Do With It? And this is described as a vivid chartreuse spring green squishy cream. And it is inspired by Wasabi from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. I'm not sure what that was. I don't ever remember seeing it. But I just was like, oh, I really like that green. I just think it's really, really pretty. So I'm curious to see if this has the same formula as um, her previous creams that I have purchased. Or actually, I only have one. Yes, it does. It's like, I really like it. You know, I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's really nice. It's nowhere near a jelly formula. But it's not your standard cream formation, in my opinion. It kind of has like a little squishiness to it, but not big time squishy like a jelly would have. Um, but I like that little squishiness to it. I just think it's kind of different. This is just kind of like, um, I guess it's supposed to, the original, I guess, was supposed to look like wasabi. That's why I was called wasabi. So just kind of like one of those uh, pretty ugly greens. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love stuff like that. It's it's bright too at the same time. I really like this one. So this one was was love was love got to do with it. I thought it said what? But maybe it's it's supposed to be was. Was love got to do with it? I don't know. It says was, so we're going to go with was. Next up, I got another one of these from Project Dupe it, and this is called Kiss Me. And this is described as a pale lavender glowing with purple, pink, gold, iridescent shimmer. And this was inspired by OPI's Frenchie Loves to Kiss. I don't remember that one. I don't know if that was, um, I've never been a big OPI person. Um, I don't know why. I've just, I guess because when I was younger and I bought them in store, I thought OPI was kind of pricey, which it is. Um, compared to like CoverGirl, Revlon, and Sally Hansen, and Sinful Colors. This is hard to see, but look at that glow because I'm on these white uh, nail strips. But you can see the glow, and in person, this is stunning. 
This is so glowy and so, oh my gosh, this is a beautiful polish. I did do a second coat. I don't think that you can see the difference, but the glow in person, you can kind of see it on camera here, is just, oh my gosh, it's a stunner. That is a beaut right there. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That is going to be so pretty on the nails. Can't wait to wear that one. So that one is Kiss Me. And then the next one I got from Project Dupe It is called My Boyfriend's Back. And this is described as an intensely pale gray cream. And this was inspired by OPI, My Boyfriend's Scales Walls. I don't remember that one either, but like I said, I've never really been, even to this day, I'm not a big OPI fan. Um, I really only buy them if I see them at TJ Maxx, and I like the coloring. I like Orly better than OPI, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, I know most people feel um, the other way. Now, this one is more creamy and not as squishy in that first coat. This one is hard to see, too. Because uh, I'm on the white wheel again, but it's very pretty gray. I don't know if it'll dark. I mean, you'd have no problem seeing it. I'm getting confused where I'm at. You'd have no problem seeing it on your normal nails, but on this wheel, it is hard to see. Yeah, this one is more of a cream cream and not a squishy, but it's still a really nice formula. I just really like that squishiness of it, of the formulas for whatever reason, but very, very nice. Like I said, it's very hard to see on this white wheel, but very nice. I could get some of those translucent wheels for colors like this, maybe. I don't know. I just don't like those translucent wheels because I feel like um, a lot of colors are opaque, but no matter what you do on that translucent wheel, they always look like not opaque because of the translucentness of that wheel. And this is my boyfriend's back. Okay, now this next one is the one from PPU that I wanted. And like I said, it just barely made, um, you know, my purchase. It just barely got kicked off of the uh, wish list, but I couldn't get everything, and I thought, I don't know if I would love it in person, even though I did love it in the pictures, and it's this one, and it is called Miss Chandler Bong, and see, this just came out in December, so this is a newer one, and this is described, look at those flakies in there, this is so stinking cute with those flakies, this is described as a smoky, lavender-filled, iridescent flakes, shifting pink, purple, aqua, and blue, and accent it with black flakies and sparse navy micro glitters. And this was inspired by Matthew Perry because he passed away and, you know, she really liked him as an actor. And so she did this polish dedicated to him. But look at these flakies. This is so cute and pretty. Like I said, it just barely didn't make it. It was like the last one I took off. And then when I happened to see on her website, the 20%, um, and that she had over pours of this, I thought I'm going to take my chance and try to request it and see what I get. Okay. So the first coat, um, it's just patchy right there at the bottom, but everywhere else it's opaque. It's a little bit lighter on the first coat. Um, I, it might've just been me giving it that patchiness at the bottom. I just might not have put enough polish there. Um, but the second coat, it is just opaque and just, oh my gosh, this is a stunner. It is opaque and beautiful. That is really pretty. And I guarantee when you're wearing it on your nails and you hit the light with those flakies, that is going to sparkle and catch the light. And it is going to be so stunning on the nails. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I wound up getting that one. Because it was one that I was like, oh my gosh. As I saw people wear it, I was like, I should have gotten it. So super excited about this one. And this one was called... I just not like it. Miss Chandler Bong. So those are all that I picked up from Moonshine Manny. If you ever purchase from Moonshine Manny and you have a favorite from her brand, please let me know down below so I can go look it up. Um, I really like her polishes and I think it's super sweet that she always does that 10% off three or more. And I think she also, I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure of this. She has like a $5 flat rate shipping. So no matter how much you buy, it's $5, which is super nice because I tried to purchase from a brand the other day off Etsy and I don't I think I was getting like two polishes and it said the shipping was like 
$13. And I was like, I'm not, I mean, that just stopped me from buying it. And I felt so bad because I know, um, most brands that are on Etsy are even smaller than brands that have their websites. And I really wanted to purchase it, but I was like, I am not paying that much to ship two polishes. It just seems outrageous to me. So it's really sweet that, um, Phoebe, that's the woman who owns the brand does, does that for, um, her customers really, really sweet, but I really do like this brand. And if you like these type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do nail content all the time. And I also do monthly giveaways of nail polish to subscribers. I hope everyone has a great day. Remember, keep polishing. Bye.